Okay, grab a light, medium set of weights, and you can, we're gonna have a seat on the floor. Every exercise we do today is going to be on the, from the mat. So, get yourself warmed up while I talk through the exercises. We're gonna start kneeling. You can take a weight to your chest, and it's gonna be quad work. We're gonna lean back, press, press, press back, and then back up forward. You wanna feel that burn in your calf, you're squeezing your glutes. And then you'll come back upright. Then we've got chest press. We're, we're going to take those weights alongside our body and uh, as we're lying on our back and press up. We've got bear to plank, step ups. So uh, plank here, bear, bring our knees forward onto our toes. Exercise four. Uh, we're going to do an uh, upright or seated chest press. So this time with weight at our chest. Then we're going to press straight out. So we'll work our shoulders there. Then we've got side planks with a leg raise. Uh, lying scaptions. So you're going to take your dumbbells in hand. And as you lie flat on your back, arms will come out in a low V. And you're going to raise your arms up to above your chest. And then back down. Up above your chest and then back in a low V. Okay, you'll do that one with your light weights probably. And then exercise seven is butterfly hip raises. So knees are out, feet are together, weight is on my hip bones. I'm gonna press my seat up and lower. Up and lower. Uh, and then we're gonna end on skull crushers, this time with your palms facing out. So I've got dumbbells in hand. My palms are facing away from my, my body and toward my feet. I'm going to bend my elbows, bring those weights down to my forehead and back up all the while with my hands facing, palms facing away from me. Okay. So first exercise are those kneeling uh, lean backs. So you'll take that weight to your chest. I'll get the timer started. And then I've got some core and some stretch. In between. All right, take that weight to your chest. From your knees, go. Break. If these are really uncomfortable for your knees, you can just come up into a wall sit or just hold your squat for that 20 seconds. Break. Last one. Go. 
All right, 10 seconds here. Then you can set your weight aside. And you're gonna start by lying on one side. Break. All right, set that weight aside. Lie on one side. You can take your ankle in hand. Quad stretch. You should be pressing, your angle should be pressing against that hand. Trying to kick your foot away from your body. Good, let's switch sides. Some deep breaths. Good, you can roll over your back. You can hug that knee to your chest. Extend the other leg out in front of you. Roll your ankle out. Press that knee away from your body. Roll that knee around, get a little bit of stretch in that hip. And then extend that leg, bring your other knee to your chest. We'll spend a little more time on our hips later. Exercise two is gonna be chest press. So it should be your medium set of dumbbells. All right, you can go ahead and get ready with your medium set of dumbbells. You're gonna lie on your back, bend knees. You're gonna keep your elbows along your side. So this is a narrow chest press, palms facing one another. Break. Go. Okay, your form here. Your feet are maybe 12 to 18 inches away from your booty. Your knees are still hip width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. Your lower back is pressing into your mat because your tailbone, break, your tailbone is tucked slightly, so that probably lifts your bum off the floor a little bit, or at least takes the weight from that position. Go. You've got nice cleansing breaths through, breaths through your nose. long exhales out your mouth. Break. Go. Other than those tips, your mind can be anywhere else. Break. 
Just one more. Go. You won't even have to move that much for your ab work from here. We'll set our weights aside and then we're going to start with bed bugs. Great. All right, set your weights aside. Your dead bugs are going to be you're on your back, your knees are bent, and propped above your hips. You're reaching your hands directly over your chest. Opposite foot, opposite arm extends out and then comes back to the center. All of those tips I just gave you about the position of your spine should follow here. Otherwise, you're just swapping your legs and hands and you're not getting the core work you need. Well, I won't say the core work you need. I'll say you want because you showed up this morning. Good, good. knees are stacked. You're just going to do a hip raise in this position with minimal rocking. Okay, so you're just lifting your hips off the mat and back down. Kind of a reverse crunch of sorts. seconds. Break. Good work. All right, we've got bear to planks or plank to bear. So start out in high plank position. You're going to step up into the air, step back to plank.
break. Good work. You're on hands and knees. We're going to start with cat cow. Round your back up to the ceiling. And drop your belly low. Once again. Drop your belly low. Plant your left hand, open your right fingertips up to the ceiling. Roll that wrist out if it feels good. Now you're going to thread the needle past that arm hand underneath the space until you're tucked onto your side. Forehead or temple on the mat. You can reach that top hand overhead. Allow that deep shoulder stretch. Good, let's take that one on our other side. So plant your right hand, left fingertips to the ceiling. Thread the needle, that hand, through the space until you're on your temple on the mat. You can reach that up top hand overhead.
break. Good work. All right, you're on your back. We're going to start with cocoon sit up so you're reaching your feet and your arms far, far from each other. And then as you come up, tuck your knees, arms circle around like a jumping jack. my in-person class last night and for that class I use my phone as the timer and I kind of prop it up so people can see it but probably not terribly well and somebody in the back was saying they needed to see it because they need to know that two second left mark when you do the half-hearted attempt at another rep I'm like yeah that's everybody does that right we see it we're like oh almost done I can't quite fit another rep in for crunches. Then we were talking about all the excuses that get in our head like when we don't, when we miss a day of working out, we like just want to write off the whole week and how that became ingrained human behavior. Like I get how I learned to clean my plate and I had to break that habit, but I don't get how I think if I'm not, if I miss a day that that's like the weakest shot. I guess that's perfectionism. Oh, keep crunching, almost there. over for a side plank, low or high, door option. Go. Option to raise that one leg and hold. one
hamstring stretch from seated position, forward fold left. Forward fold right. Forward fold to the center. Cycle through that again to your left. Maybe a little bit deeper this time. here into those lying scaptions. I'm going to recommend your lighter weights for these. You're going to start um, with your arms beside you, but a little bit out, maybe about 30 degrees in a low V. <clears throat> Take those dumbbells in hand and you're on your back. And you're going to lift those weights, raise your arms, hands up until they're above your chest, and then go back down in that V formation. Prop my feet because that makes it easier to remind myself to not arch my back. Break. <clears throat> Round two. Go. Bonus points for not dropping your weights down on the floor when they get there. Break. Good work, round three. Go. puzzle in the dining room that was all candy bars and Ian started it with me and he was really great. He did a great job at the beginning and then he really waned at the middle. It got hard and everything felt like it took forever. Go. So I finally got to last night where I don't know I must have had 30 pieces left or so and I'm sitting working away at it and I was down to maybe 15. All of a sudden, I got three helpers to help me finish my puzzle so that they could be the last piece. Break. Um, but we did it. All but the three pieces that were somehow missing. Go. standing. Great. All right, 
sit one way to side, you're going to need the other one. Prop it up above your chest, bend your opposite knee for Turkish get ups. Go. That was too easy. We already had our weight in hand, so it was a natural decision. Switch that weight, we're going to switch sides now, prop your opposite knee. seconds. Great. All right, you're going to need a dumbbell for your hips. We've got butterfly hip raises. So you're going to butterfly your feet or your knees out, feet together, weight is on your hips. Press those hips toward the ceiling and back down. Raise and lower, squeeze and lower, break. Set those weights. 
weights aside. You're going to come onto your back again, prop your knees up, take your left foot, cross it over your right knee. We're going to use this to stretch our IT band today. So bring your right knee then up. If it's comfortable for you, you can link your fingers behind that leg. You've got a figure four kind of going with your left leg cross over your right. Depending on your flexibility, you can draw that right knee toward you. I'm not feeling very flexible today. I'm never feeling that flexible, but some days it's worse than others. Good, you can release your fingers. Take that right foot back down to the mat. Now you're going to cross that left leg over and then let both legs just collapse toward the right. So your torso is twisted, your shoulder blades are still on the mat, but you feel a nice spinal twist and a deep stretch all the way through your left IT band down toward your knee. All right, prop your heels again. This time right foot over left knee. Bring that left knee toward your body. <clears throat> Excuse me, if it feels good, link your fingers behind and draw that left knee toward you. Lower that left foot to the mat, <clears throat> cross your right leg over, and then let them both collapse over to the left. blades on the mat. Right, our, our remaining exercise is our skull crushers. This time I'm just, just going to encourage you to, to do your weight a little bit differently than you maybe usually do on these. So I usually grab a single dumbbell at either end of it. This time I'm going to grab two dumbbells and my palms are going to face away from my body. So I just want you to experiment with a different feeling here on these skull crushers. My elbows are shoulder width apart. Break. Today is my Friday. I'm not working tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. Go. Break. Two more. Go.
weights aside. Gently take one arm across your body. And roll that wrist out. Other side. I enjoyed staying seated today. I hope you did too. Push your elbow above your head. Other side. Reach your fingertips up. Draw your elbows down. Do a goal post. Link your fingers behind your back and press up. Let's start in the down dog. Pedal our calves. Pedal our feet out to stretch our calves. I'm tight today. Good. Step your right foot forward. Drop that back knee. Straighten your front leg. Switch your feet out, bring your left foot forward, drop onto that back knee, straighten your front leg, and then tuck that leg underneath. Good work. Good work. Have a happy Thursday and a great weekend. I'll see you next week.